misty, rain sodden morning, everybody. This is Lavender Lori from South End of the Mission Valley, Western Montana. We had a nice rain last night and all day yesterday. Oh my Lord, I hope it put out all our fires. Too many friends stuck in some hard places with these fires. Uh, I'm coming to you today because it occurs to me there's many, 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 many lavender farmers, new ones and old ones too, that are hell-bent on having lawn in between their rows, their lavender rows. There could not be a more difficult thing or more detrimental to my experience of what I have seen anyway. Uh, you got to water lawn. You can't water lawn without watering, overwatering your lavender plants. As you can see, I opt for gravel for so many reasons, which are listed in my book, Lavender Farming Secrets from a Hard Row Hoed, available on LavenderLori.com. Uh, there's me right there. Hi. Um, gravel is the optimal. If you have to have lawn in between your rows because you don't want to do the quick weed weeding job which comes with gravel of course all the weeds still blow in but they just can't root if you're smart and you put fabric you can see the black fabric underneath the gravel now this plant in the foreground is a beautiful alternative and i know mary jane's farm used to list this as a seed in her catalog for an alternative lawn Kind of like thyme. It's just that this is much hardier and truly does not care if you step on it. You can abuse this thing any way you want to. Um, it often grows in lawns. It often grows in gravel driveways. A lot of people think it's a nuisance. Um, it's a polygonum avicular and it's a common weed. And it grows in this prostate mat. <laughs> prostrate mat um, and never gets higher than this and you can see that it's not high I mean here's my hand it's like this tall not tall um, it just spreads out this is one plant you know it could be ten plants I don't know and it's gone to seed like mad under there but that's exactly what you want. Uh, I don't know if I can show you how that's one plant. It's a beautiful plant. I've always loved this plant. If you got to have greenery between your rows instead of gravel, why I don't know you do that, this one does not require water like a lawn would, which will kill your lavender eventually. Lawn will kill your lavender because you have to you have to water the lawn to keep it green and lovely looking like you think you want it and that water will kill the lavender this you don't have to water look at this thing it's massive this is one summer's growth you don't have to mow this you don't have to water this this has been this isn't even on a drip this is just natural and it's been you know, in the upper 90s, most of July and at least a couple weeks in August, we've been blessed with rain and beautifulness uh, more than I recall in August and no hail or awful, awful weather. Anyway, if you're hell-bent on having lawn between your rows, just don't do it. Get in touch with me. LavenderLori.com, and I'll send you some seed of this because I have it everywhere and I never, never spray nothing. Well, as you can tell, look at all those. Can you see that deer over there? They're probably going, going to find a baby. Bison range looking nice today. Anyway, you get in touch with me, I'll get you some seed of Polygonum avicular. And uh, you'll never have to mow or water lawn between your lavender rows again. This is Lavender Lori signing out from western Montana, the south end of the Mission Valley. Have a great day.